Alright guys, we're back. We're talking about Ligmabowski. Yes we are. I'm Which... Oh my god! <laughs> that is awesome, that I is wish awesome. I had money! Which, by the way, another movie that could have gone here, but I was like... One thing was holding me back. Uh, cause... Le I picked Lebowski cause, uh... It has so many, like, great scenes. Oh, real quick. Uh, yeah. refresher. Uh, we were talking about Joey's nine favorite movies. Yeah, yeah. From a, he, did a, he did a three by three on the, uh... On his favorite movies because what would of the I podcast. Do you, Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably I, die. I knew I kept you around for something. Yes, you did. Uh, another movie. Oh that, yeah, we already seen this. That could have gone here, probably Pulp Fiction. Okay, we need three friends to fight the left hand. Okay. Um. Uh, let's see, I need one heavy hitter. I think that would be backslide, and then I'll need a healer. So that would be Spielberg, and let's throw in Derek. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but the only thing that held me back from Pulp Fiction... Then, for the right hand, Hank, Joey, and Jeffy. Not Jeffy, Kelso. Jeffy's my flower. <laughs> and then, go with that. And then for Awful himself... Not Awful. It's Tom. It's pretty awful. It kinda is, actually. Um, but the only thing that held me back from Pulp Fiction was that, like... Don't get me wrong. I love the scenes, specifically with um, Samuel L. Jackson and John Travolta. Yeah? Those make that movie great. It's... And, and, and Uma Thurman, too. Those scenes are great. Funny enough, like, I, I, I like Bruce Willis fine enough. I wasn't crazy about the whole Bruce Willis section. Really? It was... It, it, don't, don't lambaste me in the comments. It was a little boring. Like, the, uh, the only good thing was that Christopher Walken came in and talked about how he shoved the watch up his ass. Was that him that shoved the watch up his ass? Yeah, it's was... supposed to be like... No, his... I thought it was his grandfather that shoved... Like, he's giving him the watch. Well, yeah, his grandfather shoved the watch up his ass, and then his father shoved the watch up his ass, and now he's giving it to Bruce Willis. To, to shove, shove up his... his ass. <laughs> okay, so glad we're on the same page on the ass shoving. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, but yeah, so, so, so I think... I think I'm, I'm good with Big Lebowski. Uh, the next one was Final Wars. Okay, yeah, we're going wide. Okay, uh, Which, yes. That one, I, sh I was shocked that that made That's Because, like, I have three favorite Godzilla movies. Yes, we discussed this. Those being Shin Godzilla, Destroya, and Final Wars. Yeah. And for the longest time, I think Shin Godzilla was at the top. This is the one I'm iffy about, because I feel like they're all kind of interchangeable, because I like them for different reasons. Uh-huh. Like, Shin Godzilla is just, like, a masterpiece to me. Like, I loved that movie when it came out. Mm -hmm. Just, like, the... They made Godzilla scary again. And it was, like... It was it was cool. Um, well, except for the googly eyes. That, that... I honestly think... Well, the, they, they, they've grown up. The fish eyes, honestly, I think make it better, because it looks dead. I'm just talking specifically about where he's like writhing around in the zoo. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. Oh. Um. But yeah, I, I, uh, and the Destroy is just an all-around good movie. Uh, and has probably the most badass Godzilla villain. Yes, I, he's right there. <laughs> he's on both sides of my room. Yeah. Granted, that Destroy is a bit more hidden, right over there. <laughs> uh, but I picked Final Wars just because, like, I felt like Final Wars was a very enjoyable watch because oh yeah it's just it's like here's the thing you go to godzilla for the good and the goofy and that movie has both yes like it has the cheese that you expect you know to you know to make fun but it, it's also just a, like a good movie yes you know uh which sometimes godzilla movies it's kind of a mixed bag because sometimes you can get too much cheese yeah exactly and sometimes and then you, you get, get megalon <laughs> yeah um Next one, uh, Old Boy. Yeah? Which, fun little fact, uh... I have never heard of that movie until you mentioned well, it. Well, it's a Korean movie, so... Well, that, that would make sense. sense. Uh, but it actually, you know, do you remember the the hallway fight scene from Daredevil? Yes. That was inspired directly from Old Boy. Really? Yeah. Uh, because there's, there's another scene like that in Old Boy where it's just one continuous shot. And it's a really, really good movie. Um, but yeah, it's um, just watch it. It's 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 a it's a. Mm -hmm. I, I highly recommend. Um, the twist at the end. 
it really, really hits you. The next one, um, this one's probably the one that makes me laugh the most. Yeah. Pineapple Express. Okay. Uh, it's, it's another, <laughs> I'm Seth Rogen, I'm gonna come along my buddies and, and make a goofy movie. A goofy? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Did he make the goofy movie? <laughs> he made the goofy movie. Um, but, uh, it's another one with, with, uh, Seth Rogen and James Franco, because that's never been done before, of course. Oh, of course not. Uh, but it's, it's possibly my favorite, just because of, like, it's just a fun ride. Yeah? It's, and, and it's cool, because it's, like, it's a crime drama, but also a comedy. Yeah. It's, it's a crime comedy. It's a cromedy. A crimedy. <laughs> a cromedy. <laughs> uh, oh, there goes Joey. And then... No! Oh, did we die? Hank died. Oh. So I guess I lose the entire thing then. Great! Hank, you lost! Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> um... But, uh, and then my final one... Swiss Army Man. Oh, that's a fantastic movie. <laughs> Which I found on a whim. Yeah! And I was like... You know, I saw the trailer, and it was like... I saw Daniel Radcliffe... I saw Harry Potter farting into the sunset yes. while a man strapped to him like like a motorboat, and I was like, I need to watch this. I like how Daniel Radcliffe had like that big mainstream success, and now he's just kind of doing like indie right? shit. Right. And so I watched it, and I like I fell in love. And and here's the thing: we were we were at a party okay. at my house. Okay. Okay. Hang on. We gotta yeah. we gotta fight this smart. Yeah. Okay. So this time. This time, I'm gonna give... Hmm... I think I'll put... Kelso... Joey and Derek together... To fight... The first... To fight the left hand. Then... I'll put... Joseph, you were supposed to be my left hand man, but you're I'll put these three... Like right to fight the man. right hand... And then I'll put these four idiots to fight the main... To fight the main body. Alright, guys. Here we go. Do me. Do me proud. Uh, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, and it's funny, because we had a party, and we couldn't figure out what to watch. Uh, because I suggested Scott Pilgrim, which is also a, a good movie. Yes. Uh, but, but, but certain people... Not naming names, Owen <laughs> <laughs> bitch. didn't want to watch it again. I was like, okay. Uh, so, you know, me, I, I, I figure like that would be the perfect, uh, perfect movie for that crowd. Because uh, you get your video game stuff for the nerds, and it's also just like an all-around pretty funny movie. Yeah. Um, like... But so I'm like, well, shoot. If we can't watch that... Then I'm gonna watch, uh, I'm just gonna put on some weird shit. <laughs> and so I threw on Swiss Army Man on a whim, thinking people are gonna be like, this is weird, I don't wanna watch this, turn it off. Quite the opposite. And by god, I'm so glad that I turned on Swiss Army Man. Oh, I, I was love, like, I love that movie. Afterwards, I'm like, did I read the room properly? Yes, you did. <laughs> I liked that movie a lot. Well, I'm, I'm glad. Uh, Every movie you're like, I don't know, man. I don't know if I did it right. Then like, I'm like, dude, I like that movie. <laughs> it was a good movie. Well, like, it's funny because like the, the the well, actually, we've had three we've had three technically movie nights now. Um, but the, the first two, I like how we I watched Pulp Fiction with you guys, considered one of the best movies of all time, mm -hmm. and then The Room with you guys, considered one of the worst movies of all time. Yes. And then we watched Tenacious D. Yes, which is the best movie of all time. <laughs> Hands down. He turned off the lasers with dick. I mean, how, how much better can you get? Like I said, we still need to watch, uh, uh... Come over here so I can fucking stab you! Uh, no, we're not gonna do that. We're not going over there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, like I said, next movie night, we gotta watch the Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie. Yes. Because it's literally just the Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge movies. Oh, good. I'm glad. Uh, but no, uh... Also, so so now, now that you've heard my suggestions or my recommend, or my my list. Yes, uh, your. What what three movies do you think made me cry upon first viewing? Okay, Breakfast Club. Okay, you got one. Uh, Spirited Away. You got two. Okay, uh, what were the other ones? 
Uh, so left you have Revenge of the Sith, okay. Baby Driver, okay. the, <laughs> the Ligmabowski, okay. <laughs> uh, Final Wars, Okay. Old boy. I'm saying final. <laughs> <laughs> I put me in tears already. It really did. Tears of joy. Honestly. Uh, and Pineapple Express and Swiss Army Man. I'm gonna guess Baby Driver. You were you you you, you were you were two for zero, oh, man. Oh man. I mean two one. What? Well, you were two. For oh, I was two. Yeah, I was two. Oh. Mm. It was Swiss Army Man. Are you serious? Swiss Army Man made me cry the first time I saw it. Like real cry or real cr cry? Oh, real. I was. Damn it! I was thinking of that one. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> I mean, it, it was just like. It's an emotional ride. It, it man. was. It made me. Gave me some laughs. Gave me some, you know. All right. Do you know the premise behind that movie? I think you said you told me. Do you, Tell do, the audience. Do you want to take a guess? It was the first fart joke makes you laugh, the last makes you cry. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Wait, what? No. <laughs> what, what, what was that thing? What? Something? What? 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 Pumpkin? What? That's what it was. Uh, yeah. Other ones you could you could have probably put uh, Nightmare Before Christmas in there. Yeah. Um, to make you cry. No, not not made me cry. Just on the list. Um, obviously episode five, uh, of Empire, or of Star Wars, I should say. Oh, Lilo and Stitch is also good. Drive. What happened? Kira, oh, I, I don't. Godzilla. Godzilla vs. Destroya, Brightburn. I want to say Fight Club. Because it ended with a man schlong. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I really don't know what happened. That was bullshit. Are it you... was bullshit. I did not hit her. I, I did, did not. not. Oh, hi, oh, Mark. Oh, that sounded a bit too much like an anime girl <laughs> queefing. So. Guardians of the Galaxy was. Volume 2 specifically was mm -hmm. also good. So, so we going again? We can. We don't have enough time. We got three minutes. No! We did. No! <laughs> no! Stop it! Stop it! Get some help! Stop doing drugs, kids. But I have your list on here. <gasps> yeah, we'll do that next time. Next time? Yeah. But we still have time. Oh, well. But, like. Oh, man. This is, I don't know what happened. I really don't know what I, I thought, like, I was gonna. Alright, speed run. Before. Okay, he killed both Spielberg and Backslide. Before I had the chance to like shield them, speed run. Because what it does is it has a there's a target that it puts on your character, and that's like that's gonna be like the the, the kill move, and you gotta shield them with your with like you have a shield uh, sprinkles that makes your that makes you guys invulnerable for one hit. Yeah. And you have to shield that, but I didn't shield it in time because I wasn't paying freaking attention. But it happened so fast, I just didn't see it. <laughs> And by the time I noticed it, they were already dead. They're all dead. Damn it. Oh. We were doing so well. Okay, I gotta I gotta write that down. Give me a note. I need like a piece of paper or something. Um, uh, uh, huh? uh, 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 okay, what was the combo? It was like the wombo combo? Literally, like, it worked. Okay, like it was. Okay, so for left hand. First, and what was it? Uh, it was Hank. It was Hank, Derek, Honk. No, it wasn't. Ha no, hang on. <laughs> you got Honk and Monk. How did I already forget it? I know it was who's backslide. No, it was it was so the for the first hand it was Joey. It was Joey, Derek, and Kelso. Yeah. You got honk, monk, junk, cronk, conk, donk. And the second hand. Spunk. <laughs> the second hand was Spielberg. It was Spielberg backslide and. 
Spielberg backslide and Hank. Yeah, it has to be Hank. And we'll uh, backslide in your DMs next I'm time. I'm frustrated because I haven't even gotten a chance to get back to Darkest Lord Tom. Like, seriously, like I'm mad. I'm actually kind of mad. If this, if this were not a work... Are you fucking serious? How do you know about serious and I? <laughs> if this were not a school night, I would say, like, we keep going. But... School night? Not school night. Work <laughs> work night. If I didn't have work tomorrow, I would say we keep going. But I do, so we won't. Alright, guys. Let's take on Darkest Lord Tom next time. Next time. Bye.